Number two, make your facts and your information tell a story. Doing a data dump is dry, self-defeating, and dumb. Don't do it. Shape your information to a lead to a conclusion. Number three, never use visuals as a security blanket. The less confident presenters typically overload themselves with visuals because those slides are really their notes. When you do that, gradually the visuals become the presentation and you become the slide narrator over to the side. And then as you realize that you're losing connection with your audience, your confidence just ebbs away. So never compete with your visuals. A fourth tip, prepare with a dry run. A mental walkthrough just won't do. Nothing gives you confidence like a legitimate rehearsal. Give the presentation, time it, rehearse, record the time for each segment. Then, if at the last minute you have to cut it 10 minutes because your decision maker arrives to the meeting late, you know exactly what you're going to eliminate without being rattled and rushed. Tip number five, master that monotone monster. Vary your speaking rate, your volume, your inflection, your intensity, and your pausing. Otherwise, your voice begins to sound like that pitter-patter of the rain on the rooftop. It just puts people to sleep. When they start to nod off, you're going to panic. Illustrating your points with personal anecdotes will often help you stay and slay that monotone monster. Telling those personal stories puts you in a different frame of mind. You get more relaxed. You start talking naturally as if you were sitting in a restaurant with your friends. A sixth tip. Focus on your audience rather than yourself. Rather than focusing on what you're fearing, think about the value you're about to deliver those people. What will they be able to do with your information? What decisions are they going to be able to make because you've shared with them? How will their lives be better? Even if you're about to deliver bad news, think about them compassionately. How can you help them see the positive side? Is it better that you share the direct, straightforward truth with them than be a vague rambler that never cuts to the chase? That's a concern. And then seven, be passionate about your point. Thinking about how your topic takes your mind off yourself and your nervousness helps you to relax. Your engagement interests the group.